from a six-year-old diagnosed with hyperhidrosis, battling endless days of a dysregulated nervous system, excess sweating, to now feeling calm, aligned, and the joy of sweat-free hands. If I could transform my life in ways I could never imagine, so can you. If you want to feel calm, aligned, at peace as you move through your day, this video is for you. As always, here are our timestamps. We're gonna begin by understanding what is the nervous system exactly, and by the end of this video, I will have given you actionable steps that you can implement starting today to help support your nervous system. Hi, my name is Giddin, and my mission on this channel is to simplify health and share joy. Growing up with hyperhidrosis, my nervous system was always in the spotlight even before I truly grasped the significance of it. But let's deep dive, what is our nervous system? It's our body's command center. It is a complex network, bridging the gap between our physical sensations and our emotional experiences, comprising the brain, the spinal cord, and a vast web of nerves. This, this intricate system dictates everything from our heartbeat to our emotions, making it the epicenter of our well-being. From my personal journey to the science behind it, there are numerous factors that can sway this delicate system. External stressors, trauma, genetics, our environment, our hormones are among many factors. But the game changer is recognizing our emotional triggers. There are events that we have that evoke strong emotional responses, often rooted in past experiences. By understanding these triggers, we can manage our reactions and maintain good emotional balance. What is the key to the nervous system regulation? Let me tell you, it is our vagus nerve. I've talked about this so many times over on my Instagram where I share tips on how to regulate your vagus nerve. But what is it exactly? It's not just a critical player in our nervous system, it is a gateway to emotional regulation. Stretching from our brain to our abdomen, our vagus nerve connects to many of our organs. Our vagus nerve connects our brain to these vital organs. Activating our nervous system can promote relaxation, enhance our mood, and decrease inflammation. It's the bridge between our brain's emotional centers and the rest of our body. By understanding how we can stimulate this nerve, we can achieve a deeper sense of nervous system regulation, and I will be sharing the tools to do so in this video. How to regulate your nervous system, the reason you clicked on this video. So now let's dive into actionable steps that you can implement starting today that have been game changers for many, including myself. I have made a list on my laptop. Physiological sigh. Two quick inhales followed by a long exhale is like a reboot, a reboot, a reboot for our brain. Let's try it together. Two inhales, quick. Go on a short, quick walk. This will literally deactivate your brain's amygdala, aka your fear center. Body awareness. Take a moment to just feel the weight of your body from your slouching to the feel of your feet against the earth, your back, maybe you're laying down right now. Just take a moment to feel the weight and reconnect to your body. I've talked about this before, cold exposure. Whether it's a cold shower, washing your hands with cold water, putting your face in cold water, this sensation is a great way to reconnect to yourself. It activates your vagus nerve. It will pull you back to the present moment. Hugging, releasing our feel good chemicals. Hug someone for one minute to release those endorphins. This will calm you down and activate your parasympathetic nervous system. And it's also a reminder that you're not alone in your journey. Limiting caffeine. Caffeine is a known trigger for anxiety. I do not drink caffeine personally at all. I will only drink herbal teas because I know that if I drink caffeine, even if it's Indian jaw, it will stress out my body. Like I will feel the impact of it right away. 
for some people it takes longer but be mindful of your coffee intake because that affects your brain as well. It decreases blood flow to your brain. Next is eating mindfully times protein. Protein, 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 because blood sugar balance helps support our nervous system. And this is why I'm all about holistic wellness because it is a full body way of looking at your health. My last video talked all about gut health and everything is so interconnected. Like. You practicing mindful eating for your nervous system is going to support your gut as well. Our bodies are so intricate and so incredible and it really is a huge network that's just so interconnected beyond our ability to even comprehend how. Yes, so I start my days with protein. This supports my blood sugar which in turn leaves me feeling stable and calm as opposed to feeling anxious and stressed out. All right, now I wanna do some practices with you. So let's do a few things that we can do together sitting down. We're gonna start off by taking our hands, crossing them on our shoulders. I hope my mic is okay as I'm doing this. And we're just gonna take from the top of our shoulders, just go down like this. Bonus points if it's skin-to-skin -skin contact as opposed to wearing clothing. This is called havening. Do this for one to five minutes. And you'll feel yourself start to calm down. Now, you're gonna take your right hand or mirror me, it doesn't matter, you can do this both sides. Other hand here and gently go down your neck. What we're doing here is we're stimulating our vagus nerve. These are cool tools because you can do them right away. And it only takes a few moments. And then you're gonna switch. <gasps> My mic cover just fell. Okay, we're back in business and you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Our vagus nerve is our 10th cranial nerve, also known as our wandering nerve. I know we touched on it before, but it will literally shift you back into your relaxation state. And this will also help you feel more resilient to stress. Now you're gonna take both your arms, cross them, and tap twice on each side. What does this sound like? This is a form of bilateral stimulation. So when you activate both hemispheres of the brain, you shift into your relaxed state. Beautiful. Again, one to five minutes. I have a few more that have to do with touching our ear and a couple other things. So those tips you can find under the guides tab over on my Instagram. I have a complete guide called nervous system regulation. These tools have transformed my life. The more I've worked on my hormones and my healing, the more that I just feel calm and at peace and present during my days. Hyperhidrosis is no joke. You literally have excessive sweating going all the, all the time. And for me, it's a way for me to now be in tune with my body. If I eat something and that food did not sit well with me, my hands will sweat and that's an indicator of, hey, let's not eat this going forward. Or if I'm in a situation that's stressing me out, same idea. And I will pull from these tools. Another one is inversions. Oof, these are game changers, especially in yoga. Do this for five to 10 minutes, literally go to the nearest wall that you have, or if you have a bed or a chair that you can rest up on, this will literally not only calm your mind to stop your overthinking, but it'll also just calm your entire body and make you feel more at ease. Stress is important for our bodies. It makes us resilient. And so we have to also ask ourselves, what is our relationship with stress? Because we don't want to always think of it as a bad thing because it can be good. 
But in today's day and age, where we're always feeling stressed constantly, we're not meant for that either. So pull from these tools that I shared today so that you can feel more calm and aligned as you move through your day. It's a journey. It can be challenging. You're constantly discovering new things about yourself. But with each step, we move closer to balance, peace, and a deeper understanding of ourselves. So I applaud you for getting to this point in the video. And I thank you for being here and learning with me and evolving and growing together in our community. Like this video so that more people can find it. Subscribe to join the family where we talk all things holistic wellness and joy and health and self-improvement and the list goes on really. If you're interested in more content on this subject, perhaps you had some questions that I didn't answer today, please let me know in the comments below. I respond to every single one and I'm so happy to have you here. Until next time, I'm sending you love wherever you are. Bye! Skateboard, P and Diddy.